I first learned about Subing in December of 2003 after reading an article that he'd written that was translated into English and published in the Taipei Times. I had wanted to meet him, so when he came down to Kaohsiung to speak about the February 28th massacre in 2004, I had a video camera with me and I captured it all on video. I handed the video camera to my mom as I went to greet Subing with a bouquet of flowers, and as you can see, she caught some of that on video here. Very early on in this project, I had talked to my friend Rex about my plans to meet and interview Subing, and it was he who urged me to video record my meetings with him. I was only going to audio record my interviews with Subing, but Rex really thought there might be some great value in video recording them. So I really have him to thank for planning this idea in my head of creating video content or some sort of documentary about Subing. As Rex put it, it wouldn't be that much more effort to just set up a video camera to record my meetings with Subing. At that time, and as I continued filming, I really had no idea how I would ever make a documentary about Subing, since I'm not a filmmaker. The Making History crowdfunding campaign really pushed me to do something with all the video footage, and now I've enlisted Robin Adams to help me to complete the documentary. The first time I sat down with Subing to interview him was in August of 2004, and I remember how awkward and inexperienced I was with my video camera, tripod, and digital audio recorder. Here's some footage from that day. I also remember that day, Subing had invited my mother and I to stay for lunch, which was cold Japanese noodles. In August of that same year, I visited Subing in Tokyo and stayed at his noodle shop, the place where Subing began writing Taiwan's 400 years of history. In its heyday, the noodle shop sales of gyoza and Chinese fried noodles funded the underground Taiwan independence movement, and it was also the place where activists came from Taiwan to Japan to train and study with Subing. Fast forward to present day, thanks to the very successful Making History crowdfunding campaign, I was able to return to Taiwan in February to June of 2014 to continue work and research on the documentary and biography of Subing. There, I witnessed the historic Sunflower Movement, the largest student-led protest and occupation of the legislative yuan. Here's some of that footage. There's certainly a lot more footage that I'm going to have to sift through, but these are just some of the early highlights. Stay tuned for my next preview. And, as always, thank you for watching and supporting the Making History crowdfunding campaign.